This week I'd like to recite three sonnets, one by Edmund Spencer, who was a contemporary of Shakespeare, one by John Milton, who lived at the time of the Commonwealth, and one by Rupert Brooke, who died young in the First World War. The first one by Spencer, it's a fairly conventional sonnet, but I quite like it. One day I wrote her name upon the strand, but came the waves and washed it away. Again I wrote it with a second hand, but came the tide and made my pains his prey. <laughs> vain man, said she, that dost in vain essay a mortal thing so to immortalise, for I myself shall like to this decay, and eke my name be wiped out likewise. Not so, quod I. Let baser things devise to die in dust, yet you shall live by fame. My verse, your virtues rare shall eternize, and in the heavens write your glorious name, where, when as death shall all the world subdue, our love shall live, and later life renew. The second sonnet by Milton He's trying to come to terms with the fact that he has gone blind halfway through his life. And naturally, that's a very difficult thing to accept. And he tries to argue and find a way of understanding why that might have happened or what he can do about it. When I consider how my light is spent, ere half my days in this dark world and wide, and that one talent, which is death to hide, lodged with me useless. Though my soul, more bent to serve therewith my maker and present my true account, lest he returning chide, doth God exact day labour, light denied, I fondly ask. But patience, to prevent that murmur, soon replies, God doth not need either man's works or his own gifts, who best bear his mild yoke, they serve him best. His state is kingly, thousands at his bidding speed and post o'er land and ocean without rest. They also serve, who only stand and wait. And Rupert Brooke, the sonnet, The Hill, which I always find a very moving sonnet. Breathless, we flung us on the windy hill, laughed in the sun and kissed the lovely grass. You said, through glory and ecstasy we pass. Wind, sun and earth remain. The birds sing still when we are old, are old. And when we die, all's over that is ours and life burns on through other lovers, other lips, said I. Heart of my heart, our heaven is now, is one. We are earth's best that learned her lesson here. Life is our cry. We have kept the faith, we said. We shall go down with unreluctant tread, rose crowned into the darkness. Proud we were, and laughed that had such brave true things to say. And then you suddenly cried and turned away. <laughs>